Good morning. It is Saturday. The 20th, July 20th, I think. Set this camera on my knee. And we are going to like a little vegan festival thing today. So I thought maybe it might be a good day to vlog. Right now I'm just laying on the couch watching some version of a Giada show on the Food Network. Her dress is really cute today. It's blue. Looks like a wrap dress. I've been all about the wrap dress lately. They've been fitting me the best as of late. I've been enjoying them. I'm having my coffee and my scarfed kitty cat meow mug. Come on, focus. Come on. It's so cute. I forget where this came from. I want to say one of my girlfriends at work gave me this for Christmas. I'm not 100% sure. Don't remember. I think that's where it came from, though. So cute. So Austin's still in bed. I don't. I don't think he's sleeping though. He's probably listening to music on his iPad or something. And after my coffee, I think I'll go ahead and get dressed and ready for the day. Probably gonna skip breakfast because we did sleep in sleep in. <laughs> That's wild for us lately. We didn't get up. Well, like be, We weren't awake until like 8-ish, which is late for us. Especially like with our normal during the week wake up time. And so I think with me lagging getting out of bed, getting dressed, getting ready for the day, doesn't really make much sense to eat breakfast when this festival starts at 10. We're probably not going to be there at 10, obviously. But um, they're having a mac and cheese bar type thing. We can get mac and cheese made. I don't know if it's custom. I don't know what the deal is, but I know that it's inside. So I'm excited for that part. And then they're also having a donut sundae little station. So I'm planning on going hard. I don't always eat breakfast every day. Usually if I do, it's a smoothie, but if not, I'll just have my coffee. Especially if I have a busy morning at work, I'll just sip on my coffee, and before I know it, it's lunchtime anyway, so I'm excited. I'm not excited for the car ride, because when I don't eat, I can get nauseous in the car, but we're going to be eating so much there. So I'm not worried about it. I'm excited to see what kind of setup it is. The parking lot there isn't very big, so I'm not sure. I have to read the invite on Facebook and see if they have advice for parking. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to finish my coffee. Finish watching Giada. She's in Capri cooking right now. Making some delicious looking zucchini dish. I don't even know what it is, but it looks good, and it was like mostly vegan, so it could totally be veganized, which I love. Yeah, that's the plan for the day. We'll see what actually gets executed. Also, oh, also, I drove past, there's a little side street we have to drive on to get to the main road for like getting to work and stuff. Not that the main road, but like the main route through our area. And I realized that one of the neighbors has like, I don't know, like 30 flamingos in their yard, like pink flamingo lawn ornaments. So, and one purple one, because of course we live in Raven's area. We live in Birdtown, whatever. And I kind of want to go over there and take a picture of their yard. I'm debating, like, do I knock on their door and be like, hey, I'm your neighbor, can I take a picture of your yard? Or do I just, like, hope there's no cars in the driveway and take a picture of the flamingos? I don't know. But I really want to do that. I wanted to do it in the dress I was wearing yesterday, but after I made dinner, I had gotten a little, like, something on the dress. So I was like, ah, I guess that's not happening. But I really want to do that because it's so cute. So we'll see. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. So I don't want to have like cute pictures from this festival and then pictures with the flamingos in the same outfit. I know, that's so dumb, but <laughs> we'll see how the, the day shakes out. 
Okay, so here is a quick outfit of the day. I am wearing these sandals, which are from Loft. I think this exact color combo is sold out. I know my toenails need to be repainted. Um, but they have another one, I think, with like a red strap. And then this skirt is also from Loft. It is a really cute, like, leopard or cheetah pattern. And it, it doesn't explicitly have pink in it. But it kind of looks like if you took a picture and put a pink filter over it. So, I really like that. And it also has pockets, which is awesome. And then I have this red shirt, button-up shirt from J. Crew Factory. This is from a season or two ago. So I don't know if they still have it, but I really love it. It's so cute. I bought it in red and black. And I'm not even one to wear a lot of black. But I just loved the shirt that much that I needed it in more colors. And then this hat is also from Loft. I'm not sure if this is still in stock. It is current. I know that another color is in stock because I was on there the other day and it had the other color on my wish list. Um, it's like a whiter tone. I probably won't buy it. I don't really need it. But I know that one's in stock, so this might still be in stock too. It's got like a little bow type thing. And I've just got a low bun because it's gonna be like 100 degrees. So I want it to be covered enough to not get burnt, but not so covered that I'm going to be sweating my ass off, even though I'm going to be sweating my ass off anyway, realistically. So I'm glad part of this vegan thing is indoors. So I'm going to just put on a light, light amount of makeup and some sunscreen, and then I'm going to be good to go. I feel like I'm going on a safari adventure in this outfit. Okay, we're back in front of the mirror with just a tiny pinch of makeup. Then I forgot I didn't have any earrings on, so I put these on. I got these uh, with my employee discount when I worked at Cloud9 in Hamden. And I want to say the brand was called like Clara Bow or something. It might be like an artist. I'm not sure. But they're very, very cute. And just a light bit of makeup. I'm going to bring sunscreen and put that on my arms and the car. And we're good to go feeling fabulous. We are here. We had to park across the street because it is busy and I'll show you guys everything that they've got set up. It's not a huge setup. Hello. How are you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You look like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ridiculous. There's a line already. It's not too long, but I think we've got a couple minutes until it starts. Here's the mac and cheese. I've already eaten some of it. I got pesto, broccoli, and tempeh bacon. And then Austin got the Nito pie, which is like a rip on a Frito pie. And it has Beyond Meat crumbles, right? It's good. It's good. The mac and cheese is really good too. So we got a donut smoothie. It's just a plain donut. We got vanilla or smoothie. Sunday. We got a donut Sunday with vanilla ice cream, chocolate syrup, sprinkles, coconut, chocolate chips, and then that was supposed to be coconut whipped cream. It looks more like marshmallow. Have you tasted it? What's it look taste like? It tastes more like marshmallow too. Okay, well then it's marshmallow. We're gonna dig into this. We're back in the car now. It is so hot out. I'm melting. Austin is melting. At 
one point I could feel the sweat drip run down my butt crack and that was just so sexy. So sexy. But we had a good time. We had our mac and cheese and meat o pie and ice cream sundaes with donuts. And then we did a little bit of grocery shopping. I can show you guys what we bought when we get home. And then the wine shop a couple stores over from Roots um, was having a vegan wine tasting. So I tried a couple wines. I bought one. I can show you that later when we get home too. But it's only like one o'clock now. So we, we were sufficient and not sufficient, efficient with our time. We got in there and out of there and did everything. I feel good about it. You feel good about it? Except Twitty? No. So we've still got like a whole half a day to do something with. Let's see what we'll get into. Hopefully nothing outside. Nothing outside. <laughs> yeah, because it's too hot. Way too hot today. But yeah, okay, that was successful. I really enjoyed that. Did you have fun? Yeah. We had fun. So as promised, here is the stuff we got at the store. We didn't get a ton. Um we got two bell peppers, but those are in the fridge. I figured you know what a bell pepper looks like. I don't need to show you guys. And then we got these Beyond Burgers. I don't really like these, but Austin loves them. We also got these Amy's Vegan Cheese uh, Pizza Pockets. So Austin has been dying to find a good vegan pizza pocket. And they were actually sampling these at the store some reps from Amy's and these were really good. So we got these and um, they were actually having a dollar off coupons for these too. So that was awesome. Forager was another vendor that was sampling stuff and we tried their yogurt and it was decent. It was pretty good. So I got this one. We tried the vanilla one, but I got the plain one so that I can use it in savory applications if I wanted to. I think I'm going to try and Get my grandma onto this because she really likes yogurt but i'm trying to get her to stop eating uh so many animal products so we got that another company that was sampling today was this blue ridge bucha they're brewed in the blue ridge mountains of west virginia or virginia i don't know which one the guy said so we got the bluegrass bucha flavor which is blueberries and Cascade Hops. That's really good. This one was really good too. This one's more mild. This is the Elder Flower Sunrise. So it's Elder Flower and Rose Hips. We really liked, I think it was the Raspberry one, but they were all sold out of that one. It must have been super popular. It's really good. We also got these. These are some ravioli that the Roots Market makes themselves. And they're really good so I wanted the pumpkin ones and Austin wanted the spinach and cheese they're delicious we've had those before we got these vegan croissants we figured we'll have them for breakfast tomorrow and then just some free stuff so Manitoba Harvest was giving out little free samples of hemp hearts absolutely I took one because that's the brand I usually buy I also took this coupon and then Forager was giving out these little guides. This is like a guide to their product. And then this is like a little magazine they put together. So I really haven't looked through here, but it looks like it's just a more extensive guide to their products, which is interesting, but I'll flip through those later. And then we also got a wine. Let me grab that. We got this Folly of the Beast Pinot Noir. And we did a little wine tasting. Well, I did a little wine tasting and I really liked that one. So that's the one I got. So I'm going to go ahead and put this stuff away. I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like we got something else, but maybe we didn't. We really didn't get a lot. And um, yeah. We're probably just gonna chill for a little while and not really get into much of anything because it's so hot. Like it's just too hot to do anything today. Aha, I knew we got something else. We got uh, Follow Your Heart Cheese, the Pepper Jack one. The Pepper Jack's my favorite and I love it. Provolone's good too, so a smoked Gouda, they're all really good. 
and the Parmesan's good. We always have the Parmesan on hand. <sighs> yeah, that's what we're gonna do for a little while. I might uh, go upstairs and like file some paperwork away or maybe edit some videos I've already filmed. I have a few blog posts in mind that I just keep procrastinating that I haven't got around to doing. So I think that's what I'll get into. So it's about, it's almost six o'clock and I'm getting hungry. These are my blue light glasses I got on Prime Day. I will put a link down below to where you can get these because I think they're particularly cute. I mean, you're getting like the weird blue light glare on them, but I think they're really cute. They came in a two pack with a clear frame as well, which is really cute. I leave that one at work. Anyway, oh, my chin. I've been doing a lot of this. My chin's looking a little rough. Anyway, um, I have been working my blog working on videos, I filmed a video, I've edited two videos, I'm really getting my shit together. I have been meaning to write a blog post, but I've been working on like updating stuff on the back end of the blog, so I haven't gotten around to that yet. Yeah. So, just been working, working, working. Austin watching like a soccer game and then he came up and took a nap, so he's still sleeping. But it's like six o'clock, so I need to figure out what we're gonna do for dinner because I'm getting pretty hungry. And yeah, this is not super interesting, but it's what I've been doing. So my camera's right there. Looks like I filmed, filmed an empties video. I feel like I'm the only person that's still like madly in love with empties videos, but I just a good empty video I do. So I'm gonna keep working on this stuff and when we figure out what we're doing for dinner I will bring you guys along for that journey. Yeah. So we ordered food and I totally forgot to film it but I've got like two pieces of sweet potato roll left. Of course I use my vegan eggs and we're watching the first episode of season four of Queer Eye and just chillaxing. It's just really too hot to go out and do anything. It's not safe. Doing a face mask before bed. I do not know if this is vegan. It's definitely not cruelty free. Let me sit this down. But I've had this for probably 10 million years. Like, this is older than like most of my clothing. I've had this forever, but it hasn't gone off. It doesn't stink. So I'm gonna keep using it because it seems to be an endless well of product and I'm determined to finish it. But yeah, doing that mask. I've got quite a few masks, but I'm doing that one because I really, really, really want to try and finish it. It's like, I think it might be the only non-vegan one I have left. I'm not sure about this one. I know First Aid Beauty is supposed to be cruelty free, but I do not know if this particular mask is vegan or not, so. Yeah, but I don't really like this one. So this is next on the list to finish using up after that one. Although I do mix it up, I use different ones. I just, that's the one I'm like hyper focused on finishing. But it'll be this one, because I just don't, this is like one of those like peely off ones that I don't like. It's just messy and cumbersome and tedious and I don't like it. Also got this one that came in my Petite Vore box. Focus on this. And I was disappointed because it's tiny but I used it once and I really liked it so I'll probably end up buying a full size of that. And I have showing you my pit stains on this old t-shirt. I have this Pacifica Hot Vegan. I got this at Marshall's for five bucks, which is pretty sweet. Um, I really don't know if this one does anything, but I've been using it. This is probably more of a fun one. I don't really notice any results from this one. And then of course I've got this one, which only has a couple more uses in it anyway, because it's probably expired. Lush stuff always expires so fast. And it's not that expired, but it is expired. But it 
Okay, it says it expires because it's got those fresh ingredients, but also if you think it's still fine, it's probably still fine. So, I've got to finish using that and then I think I'll only need one more tub or canister or whatever of something from Lush and then I can trade stuff in for a freebie, which is cool. That's all the masks I have right now. I think I have a sheet mask. No. I have eye patch masks things. And then I, oh, I, I'm lying. I also have this thing that I've never used. Maybe I'll take that out of the container and play with it sometime this week. I've also got that um, Aztec clay stuff. So, okay, maybe I have more masks than I realized. I need to start doing them like every day to use this stuff up. And also, it's just, you know, good for your skin. I look crazy. It looks like this is pretty much all dried up though. So, I'm going to rinse this off and go through my evening routine and go to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed coming to the festival with us today. If I'm feeling perky enough, maybe I'll vlog again tomorrow, but I don't think we're doing anything interesting tomorrow. We're probably just gonna clean around the house. But if I do end up doing something interesting, I'll bring you guys along for the ride. I will talk to you all later and bye-bye.